Hey everybody. Okay, it is day seven in December daily. And it is red. So, flip through my pages and make sure we're not sticking together anywhere. All right, the color red. I like this, and I already have red in here, of course. <laughs> But I decided to do, um, I did take a picture of some red things. And actually, now that I took this, this is really good for tomorrow too, but, because it's favorite winter beverage tomorrow, but I have so much red stuff in the house, especially because of Christmas, but like red Christmas cup, there's a candle, there's a red tin, a tin of, red tin of tea, and my coffee pot is red. So... Color red. Is what it is today. Yeah, so I was thinking about how to do this to make it work, you know, the way I like and have it stand out. There we go. And then I'll just put a little something on there um, for the red. Here we go. Put that up there in the corner. Okay, so what I did is um, I have some half sheet labels and when I printed it from the post office, I would only print on the first half, so I had the bottom half of a bunch left over. So I cut, took one and I cut it up. Now I'm just going to round the corners, and these will be like um, frames. For red things. And now I can see that <clears throat> most of them are too big, but I do have enough small ones. We should be okay if I do a little bit of a size variety here. Um, we should be all right. So that's what I decided to do. Decorating this page with red things for Christmas. Almost done here. Okay. There we go. All right, so the idea is to peel off the sticker part. And just um, intersperse that throughout the pages. And then I'm going to be putting um, stickers on it of different red things for Christmas. And there are even for winter, really, but just for this time of year. But I think with Christmas, it seems like, you know, we have red is everywhere. Probably should have done this part first, because now I'm going to sit here and Peel back the tag paper, <laughs> right? But I think this is going to work out okay.
But yeah, um, like if you look at my house at Christmas, I seem to have red exploding everywhere in my house, obviously. <laughs> There's red stockings, there's red ornaments on the tree, all the Christmas cups have red on them. So yeah, it's just like, there is red everywhere. After I laid that there, I might, I, then I had another thought in my head of doing something a little different. So anyway, we'll see. But I did want it to stand out because of the red that's already on this page. I wanted, um, I wanted it to stand out good because to be able to see the red things. And I think I'm going to cut um, some of these down a little smaller because I just feel like they're a little too big and I do want um, some smaller things okay and this one but yeah I just like I, I saw that prompt and I looked all over my house and I'm like, well, <laughs> there's red everywhere in my house. <laughs> I'm thinking it would be really good to outline these with a thick black pen as well. Let's put this one down here and then I have room for one more, but I feel like this one's a little big, so I'm going to Turn it down just a little because I don't, I want it to go there, but I don't want it to be like too big. That's better because that's the last one. Okay, now I can get on to the part of picking, picking the red stuff I want to put on this page. There we go. So now, the page prep is almost done. So the next thing is to, I'm gonna outline. So I've got, let's see how my bold pit pen is doing. Cause that's kind of a brush pen. But I think um, that would help the stand out a little better. I rarely use brush the brush pans and I've got tombow like markers and one end is pointed and one is a brush and I use the pointed all the time when I was making my flower girls but I did not use the brush but now that I've got a book on how to do hand lettering, <clears throat> like calligraphy, I'm going to start using the brush tips for doing that. Oops. I should be a little more careful on that one. So I don't know that I'm going to like outline the ones on the other page because they didn't stick out really well. So uh, maybe I'll do those in gold because this one with the black was a little different. Ugh, excuse me. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe gold for these. Mm, no. I'm going to have to think about that one just a little longer, and I can do it after I put stuff down. Anyway, so I'm just going to go through my stickers. Um, um, there really are all kinds of red things. So here we have red gift boxes. And 
I'm just doing stickers with red in them. Let's put this deer here. And I have a red Christmas tree. I'll put that up there. Um, I have some other things I could do, but I'm not. Oh my gosh, look at this cute little bird. So cute. There's some really adorable things on this one. Okay, so then let's see what else do I have that would work for red. Well, Santa. <laughs> he has red on him, doesn't he? Um, and then there's like red candy. So let's do the red Christmas candy. Just go like that. Then we have red gloves. And let me see what else do I have. Go through my tons of uh, Christmas things here and see if I can find some more. I do like this. This is going to add some bulk to the page. Do I want that kind of bulk on the page? Not really. I wonder if a lot of times you can peel off that really fat part, like that foamy part, whoops, <laughs> or the whole tree. <sighs> uh, that didn't work. It's because there's foam on the back of this and I don't want the thick foam. Okay, let's see if I can fix the stem of this tree real quick before I put it on. So even though it's um, oops. We'll get that to stick. Okay. Then I can put this here because this is really pretty. I really like that. So I kind of want that to stand out. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's find some more red that we can use. I have a poinsettia. Poinsettia. There's several ways, a couple ways to pronounce that. But I'm going to put that up here. And we have red Christmas ornaments. Let me see what else I can find in my craziness. Um, well, baking Christmas cookies, right? So we have that. Okay. Keep looking here. Probably be easier if it wasn't such a conglomeration of things everywhere. <laughs> I'll find some more. I just had to find all my stickers and find some more things. 
This one is definitely ending up being a lot longer. I do like this candy cane, and I'm going to put that just right there. I feel like I'm running out of red. How can that be? Oh, let's see. I should have picked out my pieces ahead of time, but I did not, so I do apologize for that, because now you guys have to sit here and watch me do this. <laughs> just, I'm sure just loads of fun. Here's a red candle, so we'll put that there. feel like we could how about we put the red candle right here in the corner and then I had the words Merry Christmas in red and let's just put that right here okay and then that just leaves me one more thing and I think I'll make it like a collage of things. So here in the middle is this ornament. And then there's other ornaments. And stars. And a cute little bird. Here's an ornament. Here, here, maybe if I just do an ornament collage from what I've got, that, that would work. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. up most of them and I have one more little bird but he's pretty white um, so maybe because it's ornaments I should put the tree right there okay so there we go um, so it's red so we have all this stuff in red and then I have all that and I do wish I could have put a little bit more here but I don't really know what else to put because I feel like I could have you know filled a little space in on it that particular one there but I think for now it's okay anyway thank you for watching this page was a little bit different because I just wasn't really sure but tomorrow's favorite winter beverage, so that one's going to be super easy because pff, there's all kinds of winter beverages, so I just have to choose whichever one is going to be my favorite. <laughs> Coffee, tea, hot chocolate. Um, I could say eggnog, but that's kind of Christmas. So um, we'll see. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.